After nearly 14 years, countless construction delays and billions over budget, the people of Berlin have a new airport. Officially, this is the Berlin Brandenburg Airport Willy Brandt, although most will know it by its code, BER. Construction began in 2006 with an opening date of 2011, but there are a number of technical and planning problems from the start, including fire safety issues. Six opening dates were abandoned. One in 2012 was just four weeks before flights were supposed to take off. To sum it up, the airport company is a bad project manager. They were not able to manage the construction. And with all the many changes that were approved over and over up to 2012, the project went completely off the rails. The political fallout ballooned along with the budget as the city, state and federal governments were burdened with a $7 billion bill. The delays spanned years and the construction problems that arose from this made not just Berlin but the whole of Germany into a laughingstock. We German engineers were ashamed. The new facility replaces two Cold War era airports. Tegel served West Berlin and Schoenefeld served the East. News cameras report on the airlift. Tegel was built in 1948 for the Berlin airlift. When Soviet forces cut land routes to West Berlin, Western allies flew in supplies to keep the population alive for a year. One plane landed every 30 seconds. Commercial flights started in 1960. It is slated to close this week. Schoenefeld was built by Soviet forces at the end of World War II and became Communist East Berlin's main airport. Last week it was incorporated into the new airport as its fifth terminal. It will have a soft opening because of COVID-19 travel restrictions. Those behind the project hope it will become an intercontinental aviation hub and bring an economic jolt to the city. It's a combined birthday and Christmas present as the prices of real estate anticipating an international airport are not yet reflected. Berlin is leaving behind its divided past with one airport for all, but it came at a great cost to taxpayers. Charlotte Bellis, Al Jazeera.